everyone, so today I'm doing a video on Glossy Box and this is the December box um, bread for Christmas and it's the first Glossy Box I ever got. I'm just going to go through what I got in it. Um, I've waited um, a couple of days after I got the box um, just to kind of test out the products, see what I think of them. So as in when I'm telling you about them I can also say a little bit about what they're really like. Um, because it's funny because the thing that I thought would be my favourite in this box when I first got it is actually like not and well I still love it but there's things that I didn't think I'd like as much as I do so yeah anyway so usually the glossy boxes are in a power pink box but for Christmas they came in the red box still with the little glossy box um flower or like crown thing um so you open it up still packaging is nice as always and um, because you know obviously watch all the videos there's enough of them on YouTube but they are good I love watching them so in here you get your leaflet on glossy box for men um, and you also get your little leaflet on the items that are in the glossy box, which is good because um, then it kind of shows you just like everything about that product. Um, but you kind of don't want to look at it because it's like a little spoiler. Um, but like I said, if you haven't watched um, an episode of a TV show, you don't want to see the trailer like for the next one or something. Um, yeah, you kind of you don't want to read about it if you haven't seen it. So yeah, you kind of don't want to look at that because you kind of just want to see like unveil this bit part and then be shocked when you see it so got a little red sticker on it instead of a pink one unwrap it usually by those tied um and i've taken most of my stuff out but this is just you know it comes with all this little like tissue crinkled up or paper and yeah you've got five um six things in it and i would say five out of the six are good like literally really really pleased so the first thing in glossy box i've got to show is the deborah lipman stripper to go nail varnish remover mitt um and this i felt was like really interesting because um obviously like you know deborah lipman is this nail varnish brand that's kind of crazy hair it's like taking over the whole nail varnish thing um i didn't own any deborah lipman so i was really pleased to have gotten um a deborah lipman nail varnish in it so i thought this was just perfect to go with it but it's kind of like because there's just one of them it's like you don't want to use it because then it's gone so i think i'm going to save it up till i've got a really difficult nail varnish to take off um because that's when I think I use it, but like I said, when I actually wore the Deborah Lipman one, I was a little bit disappointed because it did chip off really easy, but I can put it down to the fact that I did not put a top coat on, and also I was shampooing all day, so it did chip easy, but yeah, um, it came off really easy, the Deborah Lipman one, so yeah, I'm going to save this top, I've got like a really tough, like maybe an OPI like glitter one or something. Um, next thing in the box that I was kind of disappointed about though, which is the worst thing, I haven't even tried it, is the Me 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 um, 7th Heaven Enriched Moisturising Face Base. This comes in a little box, um, and now the product might be good, it might actually work really well, maybe it keeps your makeup on, I don't know. I haven't tried it, just because I'm put off by the smell. It's just like, it's, it's exactly like um, the Body Shop, uh, I think it's the Satsuma range, the orange one, it is exactly that smell, and I just feel like, when I'm putting my makeup on, I don't want that smell on my face. Like, I don't even put, like, scented body butters on or body moisturizers on in the morning because I just put on a plain moisturizer that doesn't smell of anything. It's, like, scentless. So as then my perfume can be the big attraction, kind of. So I don't really want my face to smell like an orange. So I haven't tried that out. I might, but just, I think it'd be better with a, you know, more simple smell or something. Just a no smell would be good. <laughs> so... Yeah, then the next thing in it I love so much, um, it is the mascara. Now there's a few different mascaras you could have got in the box because I think some people got a Nova Lash one, some people got this little palette instead. Um, but I got the Blink and Go mascara, um, it's just long lasting black mascara. This mascara, oh my god, it's seriously so good. Like I'd heard a little bit about the brand, I think that hasn't glossy box given away eyelashes by then before, I'm not sure. Um, had a little bit about it and I was actually going to be buying the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've been wanting it for ages and ages and ages but I thought it's too expensive. It's like 18 50 I just didn't, I hadn't been bothered. And so by getting a new mascara I was like this is great. Like my mascara is running out and I need a new one seriously. And this is 14 99 in the shop so they literally have made all your money back including postage and extra just by this one product. And I know people might say oh well you know was you planning on buying that anyway but still you get something and I've discovered this is really great um, and yeah I probably would rebuy it um, the one thing I'd say is a bit difficult to remove but like whatever it doesn't really matter because all that matters is when it's on the eye what it looks like and then you can worry about taking it off later this is the brush 
This is the brush. It's tiny. It's like little. So there are no dramatic spikes or anything. So when I got it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what that'd be like. But it's really, really good for, especially if you like hold the eyelid up and then really get this into the root. It's really good for that. Um, and this mascara is so good. I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, how I've seen the Benefit and their real look. But it's great. Like, it's better than Benefit's Bad Girl Lash. And it's better than my um, Maybelline... Um, great lash mascara because those believe it or not being like a beautiful person on YouTube I've only ever tried two mascaras before um, Being yeah, the ones I just said so I've only had tried two to compare it to but this one definitely ranks highest But they're real if I had it would go higher, but still This mascara for being an unknown discovery that I didn't know I was gonna get I'm so pleased to have got this in my glossy box like it feels like my god, I just got that. I don't know. It's such a good thing, so I'm definitely glad I got that. But this next thing is probably my favourite thing at the whole box. It could be a tie actually with a mascara because, I, as I said, I've used that every day since I got it. Um, but this, oh my god, I didn't think I'd love it that much because um, I didn't, I wasn't really into it. But I absolutely love it, and it's the um, Cargo Lip Gloss. Um, it's so nice. I got mine in the colour Morocco. I think from discovering what other people are called, I think they're named after like cities or something. Um, when I first saw it, I thought, mm, yeah, this is like a frosty lip gloss. I don't really like frosty ones. I don't feel like they suit me. Put it on. The colour is just amazing. Like I do have it on now. I should put a bit more on. It's so nice. Like, oh my god. And the full size one is £10 and I'm going to buy it. Like, I hadn't heard about cargo. You wouldn't really think by looking at the packaging. It's a little bit disappointing. You wouldn't really... I wouldn't take it much interest. I'd probably walk straight past it in, you know, wherever they sell it. But now I've tried it. I'm like, oh my god, this colour. I love it. And it's so annoying though that it's like starting to run out so much that you can kind of see where it's running out, like here and stuff. But yeah, it is really, really nice. Such a nice colour. So this I've been wearing so much and it's running out because of how much I've used it. But it's so good and I really, really like it. The next thing I just have to run to the bathroom to go and get it back because it's in my shower. So this is the shower gel. It's the Rituals um, Foam and Shower Gel. And when I first saw this I was really excited because I was like, oh my god, Foam and Shower Gel. It's really fun because I think I used one before like, a long time ago by some really like a cheap brand like it could have been something in leather imperial leather or something something like that and i loved it and um but yeah no i think i only get got it once i just wasn't like into buying it or whatever anyway so i was so excited to see like the return of a foam and shower gel um and then everyone was saying oh my god rituals is an amazing brand and then maybe i just was unlucky with the smell i got because i got fuji Yama Mandarin and Mint and I thought hmm yeah Mandarin and Mint that sounds nice get in the shower and it smells like horrible like it's fine but it's kind of like you don't want that smell to be left on you when you get out of the shower because kind of it does cling to you and when people have been using the shower because like, I leave it in the shower everyone's been using it um the whole bathroom smells of it and it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell bad but it doesn't smell like good it kind of just smells a bit like mm, what's that smell and so that's not really the sort of thing you want from a shower gel so I do think that this is a really great product it foams up well it's moisturizing but maybe use it when you're staying in <laughs> just I don't know maybe if you've got a different color loads of people seem to get that like yogurt thing or that yogurt smell that one seemed nice big thing the box that I bet like everyone probably couldn't believe when they opened it and saw it and it was the Deborah Lippmann nail varnish um when I saw this I just couldn't believe it because I'd wanted to try Deborah Lippmann nail varnish for ages like hearing about it so much and how amazing it is and just all the colors every time it seems like a perfect color like as if every single color in her collection is just amazing as if there's no colours that was kind of like, hmm, yeah, put them in. It seems like every colour is good. And so I was so excited because this one is, what's it called? Razzle Dazzle. I hadn't heard of it, um, but it's really nice. And everyone said how festive it is, and it really is festive. Glittery and sparkly, and it's kind of like a berry, red, purple, plum colour, just a mixture. And yeah, so I put it on, and also I love the packaging, how it's just so nice and like chunked. I don't know. <laughs> It's really cute. I love the glass and how thick the glass is and how you see the nail varnish. I just really think it's packaged nicely. Um, but the thing is, I found it chipped so easy. And so I painted this on on the Friday night, literally about 12 o'clock at night before I went to bed. Got up the next morning, I went to work. I work in hairdressers on a Saturday, so I'm shampooing a lot all day. Um, and washing up and everything. So it probably wasn't the best conditions for nail varnish. And I also didn't put a top coat on because I was going to bed. So you can't really blame it for chipping because, you know, I didn't put... A top coat on and 
I was with water all day but I did find I went home and by the end of that Saturday after being there for like seven hours this had half chipped half chipped like it's more like half fallen off not even just a chip on like four or five of my nails so I was a bit like oh but next time I'm going to paint it with a top coat and not like you know do the same shampoo in, or at least just put a top coat on and then I think it'll be perfect so yeah this was so good so yeah that is everything in the glossy box for the month of December I was really happy with it um, I actually ordered mine um, I went looking for a discount because I was kind of like I really want to order it but I don't feel like paying for price which you know is not something you can just do so I searched around I went on like glossy boxes twitter and then I looked through the twitter and stuff and found there was this twitter person who I guess works for Glossy Box and she was putting loads of stuff like how like scrubbed Glossy Box, them is going to be so good and everything and I was scrolling down her tweets and I saw one saying like want to subscribe but need the extra push or something um, use this half price off code and so I just sort of struggled with luck I was almost about to give up looking for one as well and then I found one and it was, I'll put it here, it was stylist deck for December and then 50 and it got me 50% of my box, I knew the first box but so yeah I ended up paying for like 7 95 because it's 2 95 packaging and then £5 for the box so that was really good um, probably it still work, I don't know if you're trying to like use it so yeah and at the moment if you subscribe now you get this box and um, yeah I think I am going to say subscribe to January because the thing like the glossy box has been out since May and some of the boxes have been amazing like the one with the HD brows palette and the one recently with the Dermalogica stuff and the Stila eyeliner and it seemed great and um, back then I wish I would have been subscribed for those boxes but the thing is I noticed with like there's all these beauty boxes now there's like four or five of them Jolie box is someone I'm really interested in though so I want to kind of keep a look out for that because all these brands like I looked on the French website they're doing stuff with like Essie, Benefit, Laura Mercier um, all these really great brands so yeah I'm gonna you know keep an eye on that um, but yeah and so I kind of just thought like all these beauty boxes are launching these amazing first boxes second box is great then third it just goes downhill and I was like I don't no, like if like I don't know what one described to, are they going to be good? So I sat back for a while and then finally I was like, yeah, Glossy Box seems to be like a winner every time. So yeah, hopefully they just keep it up and um, I'm so happy with this box. Like the mascara, the lip gloss, this nail varnish, um, just so happy with it all. Literally, this box is amazing. So yeah, I'm so glad and happy to subscribe to Glossy Box. Hope you like this video and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.